What is up, everybody? This is Roberto Enamorado, aka Roberto in Love. And uh, yeah, it's raining out here. Some of y'all might be wondering, well, where's your umbrella? I uh, left it at home because, you know, like, why, why carry the umbrella short distance, you know? A little rain doesn't hurt. And, uh, well, who gives a shit, right? <laughs> why are you making a video about that? Well, I think in the, in the grand scheme of things, I use it as an analogy and as a practical tool and habit. Uh, a little exposure to things that are uncomfortable or that we perceive as uncomfortable, because really, we take showers, but people screaming when a little bit of rain hits them, right? Uh, so that's pretty bizarre from that perspective. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, yesterday I was walking around, this girl, a little rain hit her, and it was just like she was freaking out. Uh, that being said, the little things like rain really mess up your day. And of course, context, right? If I'm carrying like a masterpiece of, you know, work of art in my hand, a visual piece, and it's raining, that might, that might you know, piss me off, uh, of course. Um, but generally, you know, most people, they're just flipping their wig over what? Um, and if you don't expose yourself to small things, like this on a regular basis, what are you going to have tolerance for, you know? So, I would suggest definitely uh, expose yourself to not just the elements, although, yeah, absolutely, expose yourself to the elements. You know, be comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, it doesn't mean that, you know, you're going to build a resilience for, like, if lightning hits me, I'm just going to, like, whoop, and just get up and just walk it off, you know what I mean? But, but maybe, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because lightning, lightning strikes us figuratively throughout life. Um, and a lot of the time we get up and uh, your resilience to different things might accelerate your process of healing. Or, uh, on the contrary, if you don't do any of these things, you're probably going to heal too. You may not realize how resilient you are. Uh, that being said, because lightning strikes us all the time, figuratively speaking, throughout life, um, you know, you want to sit there laying around in your untapped, un uh, unchiseled resilience, just healing slowly, uh, you know, going throughout life, whining and complaining, and, you know, focusing on the things that you don't have, and yeah, you know, like, I work on that too. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it, but for sure, uh, I'm better than most people that I know at that and aspire to be even better at that to get to the next level, whatever that level is, and whatever that means for me, whatever that means for you, you know, it's going to be different things. So, so yeah, build your tolerance, build your resilience, chisel it, you know, and uh, gauge yourself as well. Don't try to be like me. Don't try to be like the next person. Be the best. Be the best you. You know, because you'd be surprised. You might surpass all those people that you admire and respect. Uh, whereas, if your barometer is the person that is at a certain space, um, maybe you'll accomplish less just because that was your wall. Um, and so, you know, I apply that to myself as well. So, anyway, thank you so much for your time find this useful uh, you know like comment share share with somebody in particular that can find this useful and of course check out my website robertoandlove.com uh, and also my crowdfunding campaign if you want to take it to the next level of support uh, you know got my social media links up there got my crowdfunding campaign right on the website right in the front go to robertoandlove.com and support your boy roberto enamorado aka roberto and love peace